Hi everyone the review about the book The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari Hope you'd have heard about this book if not I can tell you that this is really a good book it's a self help book by Robin Sharma a writer and a motivational speaker so this book isn't about not having nice stuff it's about choosing a purpose in life and that is able to fulfill you in many ways provide a deeply meaningful purpose from a place of contribution to others i love you to afford to live the lifestyle that you want some lessons some seven virtues that this book teaches us the first one is master your mind when i say master your mind it's impossible to completely remove negative thoughts from our mind however it can be substituted by positive thoughts it's important to have goals and reach high levels of potential as much as it's important to value the journey and appreciate what you have right now cultivate your mind it will blossom beyond expectations we live in a world right now where there is constant stimulus coming towards our direction and this stimulus is embedding itself into your subconscious mind whether you are aware of it or not we have to hold the key to the gate that allows us information in and choose consciously what kind of information we want going into our mind the quality of our life is determined by the quality of our thoughts protect our mind be aware of the kind of informations we consume is really important this information is going into your mind and it's getting you to think a certain way when you think in a way that is not in alignment with your vision you're probably not going to do things a certain you're going to consciously choose by simplifying the information and content that you consume to that which supports your vision there are no mistakes actually there are only lessons This is a way of thinking that's based on appreciation, self-respect and gratitude for yourself and the world that you live in. Trust that every single experience that you're having every day is teaching you about yourself. The second is follow your purpose. Happiness comes from the achievement, but without goal setting, you will not achieve anything. Find the purpose of your life, make goals and write down on a piece of paper. So we may have like 1000 thoughts a day but that one goal or one thought when you write that will send signal to the subconscious mind that states this single thought is far important than the other 999 thoughts then this subconscious mind will provide precious mental energy to carry out your goals it's important to have goals and reach high levels of potential as much as it's important to value the journey and appreciate what you have right now discovering and then realizing your life work brings lasting fulfillment set clearly defined personal professional and spiritual goals and then have the courage to act on them you have to do things that break through your comfort zone the third one is to practice kaizen kaizen is a japanese method for improvement and optimization it's a process that will help you to optimize and incrementally improve in the areas of your life and business self mastery is the dna of life mastery if you master yourself and use the philosophy of kaizen to help guide you then you're well on your way to mastering external circumstances like building a business or having a successful relationship success on the outside begins within you don't attract what you want you attract who you are it's worth repeating and reflecting on many times enlightenment comes through the consistent cultivation of your mind body and soul consistent cultivation means the development and optimization of your mind the fourth one live with discipline discipline is built by consistently performing small acts of courage you can take big acts of courage but every day dedicate yourself the more you nurture the embryo of self discipline the more it will mature will power is the essential virtue of a fully actualized life the beauty of will power is you should approach it from two angles develop your will power by practicing self discipline and set your systems in your life fifth respect your time time is the most precious commodity we all have 24 hours a day but effective time management separates the successful folks from the average ones time slips through our hand like grains of sand they never return 
Time mastery leads to life mastery. Time is your most precious commodity and it's non-renewable and focus on your priorities and maintain your balance and simplify your life. The sixth one, selflessly serve others. The quality of our life is determined by the quality of our contributions to the world. To achieve wholeness, we should practice daily act of kindness, give generously and focus on our relationship with others. We should practice daily acts of kindness, give to those who ask and cultivate richer relationships. The seventh one, embrace the present. There are three techniques you can apply to fully embrace the present. You can play with your children, practice gratitude and gently growing towards your destiny. It's also important for you to fully present and engage in whatever you do. Live in the now. Savor the gift of the present. Never sacrifice happiness for achievement. Savor the journey and live each day as your last. So these are the few lessons this book gives us. Mm-hmm.